it up, Niner Empire. <laughs> um, gonna talk about the horrible game that we played for the second week in a row. Second week in a row, we get embarrassed. What in the fuck is going on? I didn't see the second half. I had to work. So, you know, based upon what I saw in the first half, oh my god. <laughs> and Kaepernick fucked up through those two, two interceptions, put us in a hole right away. The one chance we had in the game, uh, Hayne made that punt return. Kaepernick scores. Uh, then Carson Palmer got pressure and threw an interception. So I'm like, okay, here's going to be our chance. It's towards the end of the first half. I'm like, well, you know, I agree with us going for, you know, trying to make something, get some points, because we, you know, it was 28 to 7 at that point. So we need to do something. But Kaepernick fucked up again, and you know he could have—I can't remember who it was. Someone else was open on that play. He could have thrown to got the first down. Instead, he tried throwing it to Vernon Davis and it intercepted again. And they ended up getting a field goal off of that right before the end of the first half. So we were down 31 to fucking seven halftime. And what in the fuck is going on? You know, this... I don't know what the fuck happened to you guys the last couple weeks. You know, week one you guys certainly looked a hell of a lot better. Uh, you know, defensively we're being left out to dry pretty much by the offense. Um... Part of that problem is the offensive line is just fucking terrible. At least the right side. They're terrible. I mean, they should have gone after some people, some better guys. They should have talked to Anthony Davis, got him to suck it up and come back instead of waiting until next season, supposedly he's going to come back. Because this is really bad. Um, Kaepernick's running for his life, he's not having time to do shit, and it's causing him to make some bad decisions too, I mean, part of that is on him, you know, he's playing, you know, four fucking interceptions today, two of them return for touch again, that's fucking unacceptable, you can get your shit together, but, you know, the offensive line is just horrendous, and Vernon Davis, where the fuck are you, you know, I don't know if it, it's, it's hard for me to go after the receivers when our whole line has just been so fucking terrible. You know. Torrey Smith, you know, we paid that guy a good amount of money. We need to get the ball to him. I don't know how much you want to blame on him for not getting open or if Cap's just missing him. Uh, you no. Know. Carlos Hyde, you know, he's been doing okay, but the offense line has been terrible, so it's pretty much just been him. You know, I'm all him on his own, anyways. Uh, you know, defensive, defensively, you know, they're getting put in bad spots here. Uh, you know, corners, not exactly the best game either um, you know but when you're fucking turning the ball over like mad you're never going to win so congrats to Arizona uh, didn't really talk with anybody during the week you know sure Cal Dog's happy and Big Ball um, the only videos I really saw you know I mean, they're looking pretty legit over there, as long as Carson Palmer stays healthy. <laughs> you know, their defense 
fucking had its way with us. You know, I was hoping when I went to work, somehow we would get back into that game, put up a better second half performance. So apparently that didn't happen. <laughs> you know, losing by 40 fucking points is unacceptable. We got Green fucking Bay next week. I mean, at least we're going to be back, you know, back for a home game. Uh, if this game was in Green Bay, I'd be like, don't even watch the fucking game. I'm hoping somehow our crowd, you know, some somehow they'll get this shit fixed, but, you know. It, it could end up being a long season. could end up... You know, all those players we lost, that really is coming back, you know, to bite us hard. I mean, it was always a possibility of this happening. I just was really hoping it wouldn't. You know, the offensive line, the loss, those losses there are the ones that are looking like the worst ones, right? You know, that and the uh, corners, you know, losing Parrish Cox, you know, and Chris Cole. I mean, Losing Chris Colbert, I really didn't care about because he was, you know, sub. He was okay, but at times he was terrible. But losing both of them, you know, especially Paris Koch, that was that one was bad. Why the fuck did we not, you know, offer him more money? <laughs> uh, you know, linebackers been okay. Uh, you know, D line's been okay. It's just, you know, coverage. You know, Tremaine Brock at times since did not look the best. You know, and then we got, I think, Johnson playing at the other corner. And, you know, the other corner or whoever <laughs> not playing the best. You know, safeties are all right. Um, I just, it's fucking embarrassing. You know, second week in row with this bullshit. I mean, I don't care who we lost. You know, Alden being gone, that, that hurts our pass rush. But he's a fucking piece of shit, and he should be suspended right now. I don't know why he's still allowed to play. Um, you know, I don't blame the Niners for getting rid of him, because he had fucking too many damn chances. You know. Justin Smith, that one, you know, that hurts a little bit. But, I mean, I, our, our D-line's been all right. It's just, you know, if we have to have a rebuilding season, you know, so be it. We'll rebuild. I just hope we pick the right players. You know, maybe somehow, some way we can turn this around. Um, you know, but next week, if the corners... You know, they're going to have to play a hell of a lot better because Aaron Rodgers come down and, you know, they want to win. And they're a very good team, the Packers. And, you know, if we play like this, we're going to get torched again. Um, that's all I can really say right now. Just frust frustrating, extremely, extremely frustrating. So, Niners, get your shit together. Uh, you know, Tom Sewell, you need to fire people up. You know, Kaepernick, you need to you know, you know, figure some shit out. Get get with your receivers. Get shit on. You know, find a way. <laughs> I don't know. You need to get in a better groove with your receivers. I know you're running for your life because the whole line's been so terrible, but, you know, we gotta find a way. Otherwise, it's gonna be a long fucking season. So, I'm out. Go Niners. Fucking fix this shit. <laughs>